So is there any way that PR pros, even in small business to big businesses, can help, I guess, get away from that cancel culture? Because I'm pretty sure businesses are like, okay, sorry, whatever, whatever. We'll do whatever you say. It's almost like a hostage yeah. situation well, between it's, it's, a group I, I, of people. I, I love that question because it's, it's such a unique environment. We're in an environment where employees, you know, obviously the employment market is a big story right now. Um, we are in an, an employee-driven market. Now, to, to attract these new breed of employees, they want businesses to take social stands. They want businesses to, to have a backbone and a foundation and a moral standing. So businesses on, on the employee front are encouraged to take social stands. But on the social media side and, and, and the cancel culture side, it's dangerous and it's it's very complicated. There is not a formula for how to do this well. Um, but but that, it's a healthy conversation that needs to be had among small businesses in the talent war, and you know ju just this hypersensitive culture. They got to make some big decisions about who they are. I mean. I, I get that that portion of it's social good. The problem is with social goods is that you're going to make one group or another upset about the stance you take yeah. on. So is this leading us more towards a neutral stance and a lot of time for businesses being like, look at it, we don't want to be involved with any of this anymore. We just want to sell products. Well, well, that that's typically where businesses were. I mean, I mean, now you have businesses taking social stands and and evaluating what they're able to absorb and what they're not able to absorb. And they're calculating it. They're talking to legal. They're talk. I hope they're talking to their PR teams, <laughs> you know, before putting these stances out. Um, but but no, I mean I mean this is th th this is real. Um, you know, the the new employment market. They want companies who have you know philosophical alignment and and moral alignment with with certain big causes that they believe in. Um, so yes, are, are you going to turn customers and, and potential employees off when you take a big stand? Absolutely. Um, but you're not going to get the, you're not going to get the good clients and, and, and the good employees if you don't, that's kind of where we're at right now.